Okay. So we're going to talk about it. <laughs> we we are definitely going to talk about it. So, finally, the What If series is starting to move towards essentially what its end game is going to be. And it looks like its end game is going to be Ultron. And holy shit. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. I like this episode was definitely different it, it was a standout episode in comparison to the rest of the what if series the rest of the what if series has been kind of dark like they've hit like really dark themes and i'm not just talking about zombies but i'm talking about like mental health issues assassinations of the avengers killmonger killing black panther like those were dark themes but this episode was jovial i had a blast Going through this episode, you meet Dude Bro Thor, who's kind of like this spoiled party prince who's just going around the universe throwing these like really crazy bashes. And he comes to Earth and he throws the greatest intergalactic party ever that literally involves a whole host of villains coming to the planet Earth to get drunk and shit faced, along with Thor fucking things up, breaking the power grid, melting off the arm of the Statue of Liberty fucking with the uh, presidential statues at Ra Mount Rushmore. All of that. Dope as fuck. Captain Marvel showing up and fighting Thor. Dope as shit. Because the fight essentially goes the way in which I think it would go. Which is, I want to lean on the fact that this Thor is a party prince. He's not like our Thor, who was more of a warrior. But she kicks his ass. And it kind of makes me wish that we would get to see a version of Captain Marvel fighting Thor in his prime, like Captain Marvel versus the Thor from Thor Ragnarok. I want that, Marvel. Give it to me. I deserve it. But we're not here for that. We're here for the end. We're here because Ultron shows up. And it's Ultron with his vision body, wearing basically an Ultron Iron Man suit. Holy fuck. I did not see this coming in any way, shape, or form. So... We've known for a while that What If is moving towards something. Uatu the Watcher is essentially looking for certain individuals across the multiverse, and he's going to end up bringing them all together. And we know that those individuals are probably going to end up being uh, the Peter Parker from the zombie universe, T'Challa, uh, Captain Carter, the version of Gamora who took over after Thanos, we know that we're going to be getting uh, Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange, and all these people are going to be coming together to form essentially Uatu's version of the Multiversal Avengers. And now we know what they're going to be fighting. They're going to be fighting Ultron from a world where Ultron won. What could have happened on this planet? So, essentially, Ultron was able to get his mind into Vision's body. With the Mind Stone, I'm assuming he killed the Avengers and wiped out the planet like he was planning to do. Eventually, the Black Order is going to show up. They showed up on that planet and they tried to fight Ultron and they lost. Eventually after that, Thanos shows up. Ultron and Thanos scrap. Ultron kills Thanos, takes all of the gems that he's collected, places them all into his chest, and now he's planning on expanding his control from his universe across the multiverse. And Uatu sees this and he's like, nope, 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 nope. I can't let you get beyond your world to these other worlds to kill basically everyone. So he assembles Avengers. And then these Avengers are going to take on essentially this version of Ultron. Ultron Prime? We don't even have a name for him yet. And they're going to kick his ass. At least that's what I'm assuming. But I, I'm really wondering how exactly they're going to close out the stories for these different worlds. Unless each and every one of these worlds essentially is going to get invaded by Ultron. Because we have the ending to the zombie world. That story is not complete. We have Doctor Strange sitting in basically that isolated bubble that's left of his reality. His story is not complete. We have Killmonger in Wakanda. That story is not complete. Nick Fury on a world where Loki takes over. His story is not complete. All of these different characters are from worlds where their stories aren't complete. 
I really have to wonder whether or not Marvel is just going to decide, you know what, we're not going to finish these characters' stories, and instead we're just going to pluck them from their multiverses, throw them all together, and have them fight this version of Ultron. But yes, this version of Ultron is an Ultron that essentially was able to get Vision's body. And after he got Vision's body, he killed everyone, including Thanos and the Black Order. And he took all of those gems for himself. And I am absolutely fucking pumped because when this happened, I'm telling you, man, like I was have I was jamming this episode, absolutely having a fucking blast the entire way through. The second we got to this point where Vision comes out of that fucking portal, it Vision, well, it's not really Vision, it's Ultron. The second he comes through that portal and I saw him, instantly sat up in my seat. And, and now I'm jonesing. I, I feel like it's WandaVision all over again, where I'm like, holy fuck, I really have to wait an entire week to get another episode? This is absolutely unfair. But yeah, Vision with the Infinity Stones, about to take on Uatu's Avengers. I can't fucking wait. Peace.